I, Franz Park, do swear that I will bear true faith and allegiance to Belize and will uphold the Constitution and the law, and that I will conscientiously, impartially, and to the best of my ability discharge my duties of, as a justice of appeal and do right to all manner of people without fear or favor, affection or ill will. So help me God. The investiture of Jamaican American attorney Franz Park as a justice on the Court of Appeal bench took place this morning at the Belize House in Belmopan. The brief swearing in ceremony was devoid of the usual fanfare. No members of family, no friends or government officials. His appointment as a judge in the appellate jurisdiction flies in the face of strong objections from the Bar Association of Belize, the leader of the opposition and the Belize National Teachers Union. It is also the subject of a legal challenge mounted by PUP party leader John Brissenio on October 11th. Uh, we have been very clear for some time that we believe that Mr. Prague does not meet the qualification to be a uh, justice in the Court of Appeals. His resume is very uninspiring. We have seen that he has almost no experience in the Caribbean. He has left the Caribbean since 1980 to, to live in the United States. So he has no prior experience for us to be able to name him as that. We don't believe that he meets the criteria that the Caribbean Court of Justice has set up. The Bar Association has pointed out that they cannot support his appointment. Neither does senior counsel Eamon Courtney. The former president of the Bar Association has also threatened legal action should Park preside over any cases involving the venerable attorney. If Mr. Park appears on the Court of Appeal in any case in which I'm involved for any client, I'm going to object. And I'm going to commence proceedings challenging him sitting on that court. Why? Marlene, stop and think about what we're talking about. If you had a case in Belize today mm -hmm. and you lost it in the Supreme Court and you wanted to appeal, would you pick up the phone and call Mr. Park in Florida and say, listen, I have a case in Belize. I know you don't know any law in Belize. I know you have not practiced for over 20 years in the Caribbean. I know you are an expert on the law of Florida, but I have a Belize law case. Would you come and represent me in Belize? I am sure you wouldn't. Prime Minister Barrow, whose ultimate decision it was to proceed with the appointment, is of an entirely different opinion. I genuinely do not see that uh, Mr. Parks, the fact that the bulk of Mr. Parks' practicing experience uh, has been in the United States, uh, more time practicing in the U.S. than in the Caribbean, I do not see that that's a disqualification. And when I look at the Constitution, what is required is that this person should have been entitled to practice in our jurisdiction for a certain number of years. And he was so entitled from 1975. Uh, I'm sorry to say that it's as long ago as that that I graduated and, 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 and that therefore he graduated. So uh, I am convinced he had come already and he did one session as a temporary judge. I had no complaints from uh, the president of the court or from any other member of the court and I am convinced that Franz as, 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 as bright as he is and with all the experience that he has uh, will make a fine justice of appeal. BNTU for its part has also expressed its discontent with the appointment of Park who is seen as unsuitable for the post of court of appeal judge. Um, that may be somewhat saying to us you know you have your say we'll have our way kind of response but if that is so then it's unfortunate because the matter of Mr. Park being sworn in and Mr. Park uh, being a judge now in this country is not a matter that's going to affect the BNTU or BNTU members only. It's a matter that will affect this entire nation and we are aware of the importance of our judicial system and so I don't believe and we don't believe at BNTU that we should take these appointments lightly. We must ensure that persons who are going to be serving in these capacities are of the highest caliber. 
Reporting for News 5, I'm Asana Cantano.